Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, today we are going to be unboxing the American Beauty Bundle Box. The I think they say AIA box or um, like I said, the American Influencer Beauty Bundle Box. Um, this is, well, technically this is my first time uh, purchasing it. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I was supposed to get one last month, but something happened and it got messed up. But I emailed them and they're supposed to be fixing it. For We're me. going to be unboxing the um, June July box because this comes bi monthly. It is $34. Um, so, yeah. And I'm excited to get in here and unbox it for you guys. Um, and I guess let's get on to into this and I hope you enjoy it. Box. So this is what this box looks like and let me just tell you I love BoxyCharm but like this one already like look at this box. This box is like like I want to display this like this is just so pretty. Oh okay yeah like I'm just already locking this because of the box. But like I said, this is $34 bi monthly. So technically this is not just like June box, this is June and July's box. So if I'm not mistaken, each each box is actually curated with um with a influencer. So each box, um, like last month was uh Guy Tang. So it was all Guy Tang products, which I'm super excited to hopefully I get it soon. Um, but this one, this uh, time, I can't remember who was in this one, so when I open it up, I'll see. Uh, but it's based off all her products. I know it's a girl. Um, so it's, it's really cool because, you know, it's not just random different products. It's actually an influencer, um, their whole line, or um, they curate it, you know, from their personal view. Um, so let's get on into it. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. You know, it just has the card um, and it's in the little Omi oh, stuff. Um, so, the first thing I'm pulling out here is going to be, oh, before I, I show you, it is by Mana Kadar, I think that's how you pronounce it. You already know by now. I I can't pronounce half the stuff I say. So, just look over me. <laughs> but, the first thing in this box is the hydrating face mist. And this is what it looks like. And, oh, I might want to turn it over because reading the front is not really going to give me any help. Okay. So, it says, um, it's derived from seawater, um, helps soothe and calm skin, and it's for before or after makeup application. And this retails for $19. So, it's not too bad, um, which I've never heard of her brand before, so I've not tried any of her products, so I really can't tell you how they perform, but $19 is kind of a standard price, um, because I think I pay for... For my Urban Decay, I think it's 28. I'm not for sure, but that's just one of the ones I have. I think it's about, so usually they're around 20 to 32 range. Um, usually, you know, just the standard, unless you get them from the drugstore. So this one's not too bad as far as a um, more luxury item, I would guess. I guess her line's more luxury and not drugstore based. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to try this. I definitely, especially uh, my, when my skin's getting a little bit drier nowadays, I really like to get uh, hydrating products to kind of not make it so look so matte now. Um, so I'm excited to try this and and yeah. So I'll let y'all know how I think about this because I definitely will be using this. Okay, right. so the second thing in this box I'm going to pull out is this is the this is the Lux Lash Lash Serum. This is what it looks like. It's a daily use serum that conditions and strengthens lashes for a fuller and longer, healthier looking set. Um, and this retails for $29. So really that's not a, that's not a bad price. Um, I know 
is it um the fields is it it's oh my gosh if you went if i went and told it's i know her last name is fields um i can't remember the first name if i wouldn't have been trying to tell you guys of course i would have remembered it but um hers is like 60 80 bucks right through there um so this one i mean this one's not a bad price i mean it's still a little bit pricier it's 30 dollars well 29 30 dollars close enough right um and so i mean it is a higher price but with last year's i mean they're they're a little bit more pricey you know you you know it's an actual product that um you want to work you know if you get a cheaper one is it really going to do the job so i am definitely going to be trying this one out um you know try to do it before i go to bed and you know when i wake up and stuff and see if it makes a big difference because since having the baby the baby oh my goodness made all my lashes fall out i literally had little nubs and so they're just now growing back and they're not as thick and voluminous as they used to be and i'm kind of sad you know I was like, oh, my lashes are good. Don't have to worry about them. And until they're gone, you really don't really, you don't, you don't really look realize that you miss them, you know? Because, I mean, I'm starting to get back where I can use, you know, mascara and just go out the door and be fine. Because used to, I used to wear um, fake eyelashes every single day because I had no eyelashes. I felt embarrassed. Um, because there was nothing there, you know? But... I'm super excited to try this and I'm hoping that they help my lashes because postpartum is it's almost just as you know as crazy as pregnancy and I'm and I'm going through changes you know my hair is falling out and it's just a yeah so hopefully hopefully this works because I'm really excited about this okay so the next item in the box if I can get it out of here, is the um, Step 3 Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. And this is what it looks like. And this says right here that it is a built-in primer for long wear and soothe application. Hydrating formula combines the properties of a lip gloss and a stain. Infused with nourishing vitamins E and A and berry extract um and it retails for 24 dollars um so i mean that's a little bit more pricey for a lip gloss i would say um I've, i have paid you know for my lipsticks but i've never paid that much for a lip gloss uh, just because it's something that um, just tops, you know. Which this one is a, it's a gloss stain, so I really don't know the difference. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to edit this out because I cannot open this at all. I'm over here struggling. And then this is what it looks like when you open it up, and this is in the shade Sienna, and so. I will swatch this right here for you guys. So that is a really pretty color. Hmm. Honestly, I've never seen a formula like this. And, and maybe I've, I've used them and just not realized what it is. Um, but I'm excited to try this and, and see, you know, I guess, is it like a regular gloss? Is it a stain? Like, I'm so confused. Like, lip locked priming gloss stain. Okay. I'm just going to stop right there before I confuse myself anymore. But, I mean, yeah. Oh, so is it a gloss? Is it a stain? Is it... Who knows what? So if you know, if you can make me smarter, comment down below, like, is this something that you, like, you legitimately use after you put your lipstick on or your, you know, your whatever you do, um, liquid lip or who knows what, um, 
after you put it on, is this what you top it with? Or is this like, actually, can you, is it like just a, like a stain that is supposed to be more, more glossy that you wear like as a lipstick? So if you know, comment down below because I don't know. So this is a stumper for me. I have never seen this. Sorry guys. I don't got that one. <laughs> so the next item that I'm gonna pull out here is the step three. I can't even I can't even see this. It's okay, the lots. The step three uptown. It is a three one highlighter and shadow and blush. So this one right here is it says long wearing powder split pan duo. And this is what it looks like. That well, this is what the packaging looks like. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. Well, that just fell out. But this is what it looks like when you open it up. And so you have your blush right here and your highlighter over here. I think that's highlighter. I don't think that's bronzer. I'm pretty sure. Oh. So I guess, okay, reading here, I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. Uh, multiple purpose, time-saving compact can be used as a blush, bronzer, highlighter, and shadow. So I guess you can use this one right here. I guess depending on your skin tone, you can use it. <laughs> you can either use this as a bronzer, highlighter, or eyeshadow. I mean, you can probably use this one as a blush or, a, or um, eyeshadow as well. Um, so I'm excited to try this. So you can kind of like just take this on trips and like, you know, multiple purpose. Um, which I don't know if I could use this as a, a bronzer or not. Let me see. This is what that looks like. I might can. I don't normally wear shimmers. Um, that's the blush. It's very faint. I wonder if it's buildable. Let me see. It says what it kind of looks like. It's more, it's not as potent, more pigmented, I guess, um, than some of my blushes, but I definitely could use it on like a uh, no makeup makeup day, you know, so I think I'd probably use the high water bronzer eyeshadow thing Probably use it more as a Because it's too dark for a highlighter for me and for a bronzer. I usually don't use shimmers um, so I Probably will just use it as like something for my eyes. That's probably what I'll do um, But I might try it and see how I like it as a bronzer um, but I don't know. So, I'm excited though to try this. Um, it's something different. This whole box so far has been a little bit different for me. So, it's kind of, you know, taking me out of my, my comfort zone. Uh, so, I'm excited to, you know, try some new stuff that I've never tried. So, this will be one of those. Okay. So, uh, I probably should get me a wop. Okay. So, the next item in the box is the HD Perfecting Powder. And this is what it looks like. This is what the case looks like. And then you open it up. I'll take the little thing off of it. And this is what it looks like right there. Let's see. And I believe it's just a translucent powder, if I'm not mistaken. It's just a, just a regular translucent powder. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just the regular, there's no really no color to it. Um, so that's good. So I'm going to try this. I'm always, you know, looking for, you know, some kind of new powders. Only thing that I'm kind of weary about is because you see HD power, powers, usually HD powders, when you take photos or something like that, it has that flashback, you can, you can in pictures that has like that white flashback. And I'm not a big fan of that. Um... So, hopefully this one won't do it, but I'm pretty sure most of them do. But I'm still going to try and hope for the best. But yeah. Oh, and I also didn't show you guys. Um, there's also this little little pad thing here in the bottom. So, that's what comes with that as well. So, and last but not least in this box 
in the Turn It Up Volumizing Mascara. And this is what that looks like. And it says on here, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, the last HD powder, um, the powder, it retails for $29. So, uh, I guess it's kind of standard pricing, I guess. We'll see if it's good enough. I don't know. I'll see if it's worth $30. Okay, so now the mascara. It is rich, creamy, long-wearing mascara that don't dry out your lashes or cause flaking. Um, the custom one reaches very parts of the... Reaches every part of the lashes, keeping them separate and defined from the perfect flutter with flare. And this retails for $29. So, I mean, I think... Is it $24 or $28? Um, I normally, my favorite all-time mascara is the Lancome, uh, the Lancome, uh, Monsieur Big, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I've tried, I don't know, I've tried the, you know, the Better Than Sex, I've tried, I'm trying to look over here and see all my mascaras. Honestly, most of them I've tried one or two times, and I hate them, so I'll just put them over there for, like, a rainy day, I guess, or if I have to, if I'm... Um, run out of my Lancome, Lancome, <sighs> my accent's getting in my way, <laughs> but, um, but that one is just my favorite, and I keep going back to that one no matter how many other ones I try, and it does good on my lashes, um, and that's why I recommend all my clients that come in, they're like, oh my gosh, your lashes look so good, or what do you recommend for me? And I'm like, listen, the, I have tried literally every mascara and the Lancome is just, I've not found anything that has compared to it. You know, most people, oh, better than sex. Like, that is, that's that mascara. Like, you know, that's everybody to rave for. Like, oh my gosh, you gotta get this one. I'm, I tried it and I'm like, this sucks. This sucks peanut butter um <laughs> but seriously it it well, especially at work because I cost like we're working in like sweat and water and you know it gets hot in there we're constantly moving and it put big huge like it was like a whole black up here like it was underneath and I looked in the mirror and I was like oh my gosh I look like a crazy person and and it wasn't just me. There was another girl um, that tried it too, because uh, people at Sephora and and you know friends and everything had been. This is the best mas mascara to get. She had the same problem. It was so smudged and so you know just so much uh, transfer. I was like, I'm having the same problem too. I'm glad it wasn't not just me. So you know, some people they love it. You know, that's for you. I'm I'm glad. But for me, it didn't work out, and I'm for the Lancome. Like, all the way, I would recommend that 10 out of 10, and I've never had the problem of the transfer. Um, so, yeah. So, but I'm going to try this one and see how it goes. Um, I'm very excited because I love me a good mascara, and if I can find me two favorites, that's a win-win situation. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to get off here. Um, I thought just real quick, I would kind of show you what's in June this month, next month. Uh, June July box. I thought I'd just kind of get on here and show you what's in there. So if you still want to order or subscribe, you can. You still have time to get this month's box and next month's box. It's hard to say that. Um, but I hope you all had a wonderful day. Um, I don't know if I'll get this up tonight or tomorrow. Um, so it just depends on, you know, when I get to edit. Uh, but you all have a wonderful day and thanks for sticking around. Because Lord knows, there's that saying again. But thank you all for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to. You don't have to, but I'd really appreciate it. Um, and you get to see more of me. Like, what much more would you not want? No? Okay. I, I won't go that far. But yeah, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video. 
See you guys. Spirit fingers. <laughs> Bye, guys.